I have full confidence in your courage and devotion to duty and skill in battle. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, in a message to troops before D-Day. Courage. Devotion. Duty. They are the words most often used to describe the brave Allied troops who landed on Normandy 74 years ago and helped win World War II. Not to be forgotten, though, is this word, technology. World War II was won not just with courage, devotion and duty, but with American and British technological advances that gave Allied troops the upper hand in many facets of battle. The most famous and fearsome, the Manhattan Project atomic bombs that led to the surrender of the Japanese in 1945. But there were many others. Radar helped the Allies know what was coming at them from the enemy. Bomb sites employing complicated gyroscope technology allowed planes to pinpoint bomb attacks. Before World War II, pilots simply dropped bombs by hand and hoped for the best. Nylon, the synthetic material invented by DuPont for women's stockings, was used to make parachutes, glider tow ropes, aircraft fuel tanks and flak jackets, according to Smithsonian Magazine. Some people dubbed it the fiber that won the war. But one of the most crucial bits of technology, the one that helped the Allies launch the surprise attack on Normandy, was the hull of a boat, the Higgins boat. You have probably seen pictures of this hulking nautical miracle, the one that carried troops right onto Normandy's beach. It was built by a wily, hard-drinking inventor named Andrew Higgins, the man White D. Eisenhower once credited with winning World War II. It is Higgins himself who takes her breath away. Raymond Moley, a former FDR advisor, wrote in Newsweek in 1943. Higgins is an authentic master builder, with the kind of willpower, brains, drive and daring that characterized the American empire builders of an earlier generation.